Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we got the pink sauce lady has gone insane with the August duck. Let's go ahead and check it out. You know what I'm saying? I could just hit the restart button and like restart it all, but it's okay. What happened to her? Look how gorgeous. Oh. Um, well guys, I didn't think we'd be back. Today we are revisiting one of the most controversial internet figures from the last couple of years, and the reason that is, is probably not gonna surprise you. Chef Pie, Chef P, the pink sauce lady, whatever you want to call her, she's, uh, she's still- What? Actually, like, I remember her, bro. I remember the FDA or somebody went after her because, like, she was selling- Old ass potatoes, bruh. Still kicking, guys. Now, if you somehow have no idea who I'm referring to when I say the pink sauce lady, one, I'm not sure why you clicked on this video, and two, I'm not even gonna try to explain who this woman is. There's simply too much lore to go into in a single video, so if you want to really be caught up from the get-go, I'll put a link in the top right corner that'll get you sorted. But yes, guys, you heard me right. The pink sauce lady she's still out there she's still terrorizing people with her terrible sauces and it's somehow getting worse for some she's still trying to sell this shit reason last night i was like you know what bro i'm trying to tell y'all she was trying to sell people old ass but bro let's look at this look at this shit y'all why is she still trying to sell this shit bro bro look at this shit y'all where the fuck is it at that's that fake. If you, why are you trying to? Don't buy this, bro. I swear to God, why is she still selling this bullshit? Why is she still selling this shit, bro? Stupid ass shit. I swear to God. What prompted me to do this? But I did it, and I was treated to a wonderful and display of a woman now. desperately. What's up with this shit? Trying to claw Did back the into the limelight lagging. so she can return to selling dangerous products to the public. She is back with two new sauce products and an advertising method that is strangely aggressive. You'll see. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Look at this. Like, just a look at this. Like, y'all, I just wish I could just hit the restart button and like restart it all, but it's okay. This is like the best thing ever, guys. Oh my gosh! I think I perfected my product. I think I perfected my product. All right, so this Why is- Why don't you just let this go, bro? It didn't work. You almost went to jail. Let this go, my baby. You look too good. Let it go. Just let it go, bro. This is the video that I saw that made me think I should maybe check out the. Sometimes. What the hell? Let me mute this shit. What the fuck going on in this video? Just let this go, bro. Why is she still trying to make this damn sauce? Damn, this shit not working, bro. It's obviously not working. The rest of her TikTok page and see what she's been up to recently. Because this video, it, uh, well, it kind of makes her look a little crazy. She's sitting here stirring a bowl of what looks like goopy Pepto Bismol, and everything she's saying is just complete nonsense. Pretty much the only comprehensible thing she's gonna say during this entire video is that she thinks she's finally perfected her product, which is really not what you want to hear after that product has been on the market for years. Especially not when that product is something edible. This might be a controversial take but perfecting the product should come before you have people eat it like y'all no but for real for real for real for real like what oh they could never never oh it's so beautiful see and then when i mix my sauce and I just see how vibrant and beautiful the color is. I just rock my stuff and I'm like, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Like, let this shit go, my baby. You look too good. Does she got kids? 
If she got kids, I hope this she don't got no kids, bro. Please don't have no kids, bro. She look too good for this right. type of shit, bro. Look how gorgeous. Oh. Okay, uh, not sure why the spirit of Freddy Fazbear took over her there at the end, but this seems like a profoundly intimate moment. I, uh, I don't think this should have ended up on the internet. I mean, look, I'm not a doctor or anything, but just watching this video, it does not really seem that Chef Pie believes everything is gonna be alright. Right. But, like I said, seeing this video on her page is what prompted me to continue my search through her TikToks, and I came across a couple of videos where she is going around pressuring people into trying her sauces, and the reactions are exactly what you would expect. You oh, yes, that I record oh. Okay, so I'm out here getting honest reviews. What the fuck? And you're still trying this shit? Let this shit go, my nigga. Let this go, bro. Just let it if go. Y'all ever heard of me? Y'all know I'm like one of the most hated people on the internet, but I'm real respected in real life. Wow. Okay, that is a very telling statement. Controversial? Sure. One of the most hated people on the internet? Not even kind of. And then to follow that up by saying I'm very well respected in real life? By who? Like, I'm not saying you aren't, but by these random people? You think this random person you just walked up to holds this crazy respect for you or something? This is weird. Exactly. Don't say Okay, so it is flavor. So my description of it is sweet, tangy, and a little bit spicy. But I don't say both of them. So I don't say that it's like it tastes like like something. It tastes like beef sauce. It tastes like. And why you got these poor? I swear to God, they throw up and they get sick. I hope they sue your ass. Because this is not cool. You just, they, this shit did not work. Stop making this it's shit, bro. Right. Okay, so we're gonna get into this more later. But just remember this description, okay? We've got sweet, tangy, and spicy. And apparently, it tastes like nothing else. Now, when I first heard her say this, I was just like, okay, everybody who's making something like this is probably gonna say that, right? And then I looked at the ingredients, which we're gonna look at later. And uh, you know what? This might actually taste like nothing else. Not for good reasons, though. <laughs> Do it taste like ranch? No. I don't know what it tastes like. It got its own flavor for real. It tastes good. So do it taste like ranch? A little bit. A little bit. I swear to God. Y'all, y'all weird. Why'd y'all eat that shit, bro? Y'all was desperate, bro. Okay. It's good though. It, I like it. I, I gotta try to pink one, but I like the blue one. Look, she done dipped the blue one like three times, y'all. Alrighty, so in my professional opinion, I don't really think these two like the sauces. I think maybe the lady with the red hair might like it a bit more, but the one on the left is like actively shaking her head. And it's also just a tonal thing. They both right. got the classic voice when you're trying to not make it seem like you dislike something. Your voice gets a little bit higher and you're like, yeah, this wow, is- Wow, why I eat that shit there? I would've just said no. Not bad, Get it's the pretty fuck good. Out this is just one of those things where I why did they eat it then? feel like we've all got sort of a human connection why? Can... whether oh, you want I swear to, to god why the ad move better than the videos that should be pissing me off then the video you're on boss then they're gonna take me to another video fuck that bro get me back into the other vid man not in the mood right now bro not in the mood bro you can always tell when somebody doesn't like what they're eating, and these two don't like what they're eating. But does it taste like any other sauce that you've ever tasted before? Not at all. No. No, it got its own little flair to it. It's good though. Thank you, y'all. It definitely don't taste like nothing else. This one, this one don't, this one tastes like it's, um, you know, unique too, but... I don't know. It's real good. Like, it makes me feel like it could be from something else or something. I don't know. Well, thank you. You keep eating it, girl. So, it's a compliment either way. Okay? So, she say her favorite is the blue, but she like the pink and she yeah. like the pink, too. She might be going broke. That's the only thing I could think of, bro. Because why the fuck is she still trying to make this Period. Song? And 
I don't know them from nowhere, okay? <laughs> Chef Pie, I've got a level with you. If you did this to me, I think I might be a little frightened to tell you I don't like the sauce. Mm. You're coming off a little bit threatening in this video, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's just the microphone making it seem this way, but it seems like you are screaming at these women. Also, yeah. addressing the whole it doesn't taste like anything else, I don't really think that's necessarily a good thing. We as humans have had a long time to come up with a lot of different good sauces. That's this might saying. be kind of close-minded of me to say, but I feel like we've discovered most of the good ones. Anything new coming out these days should at least remind you of something. I don't know if I want to be patient zero to a brand new sauce category. Easy, that is. <laughs> No, bro. Why are you eating this, bro? Dude, she is forcing these people, bro. Why are you eating this, my baby? She hasn't even tasted the sauce yet, and this lady is approaching the pink sauce like a wild animal. That's Smart crazy. woman. Okay, so first question. No. Do it taste like ranch? It don't, right? It don't. <laughs> Her eyes tell you everything you need need to know this woman is not enjoying the pink sauce also what is chef pie's obsession with confirming this doesn't taste like ranch ranch is pretty damn good if you're trying to come up with a new tasty sauce having it taste like ranch is probably not a very bad thing does it taste like any other sauce that you've ever had no it do not <laughs> oh hell no is it good it is really good Thank is she lying you she lying, bro. Okay, so now this the blue sauce, y'all. And I'm gonna let her open her own sauce. Go back a little bit, Poppy. Cause they can hear me. She say, it's so good. <laughs> Chef Pie, I think these people are afraid that you're gonna like turn them into a sauce if they don't comply. Nobody likes this. You can see it in the face of these two. They are uncomfortable. Come a little closer. <laughs> this sauce genuinely looks like sewage water. What is it the is so disgusting, bro? I'm not eating that shit. Your cameraman need to fuck get his ass fired for recording this shit, bro. Cause who the fuck is eating this nasty ass sauce? Session with making these sauces colors that are not really found that often in food. Blue is a color that signals like instinctual alarm bells when it comes to humans and food. Apart from blueberries, basically nothing else that you eat is blue. So when you see blue on food, you think mold. Yummy. Really? What about this one? It's a little different, but it's good. It's a little different, right? But it's good. <laughs> Period. Okay, see, I had to come out here with the people because the people is going to tell the truth, honey. <laughs> Period. We're talking. It's really good. <laughs> Thank you, my lady. Again, Chef Pie, I'm going to have to go against the grain here and say these people are, in fact, not telling the truth. The situation is not very conducive for people being completely honest. You've you got the creator of the product you're trying standing right in front of you. If you know anything about them, you know they've recently lost everything. Yeah, they just she does not look amusing. She makes me not want to get this shit. Her reaction after she ate that pink sauce was like this. She didn't do this. Oh, this is really good. Mm. She did this. I'm not buying. She's lying. They're, they're all lying to you, Paid my baby. Paid for your meal and they're you're all being lying filmed. To you, Nobody's gonna say, yeah, this shit is ass. Absolutely fucking disgusting. You should quit. Of course, people are just gonna take one bite, stomach it, and say it's fine. It's called being kind. All right, so remember when I said we're, we're gonna talk. To get started in data analytics, you don't need previous experience or a degree. The Google data... Man, we ain't trying to hear you, Tony. It's time. So it seems like Chef Pie actually did learn a lesson after sending curdled dairy across the entire country that maybe if you can't make sure you're doing something like that correctly, you shouldn't do it. So instead, she's moved to like a Hidden Valley Ranch kind of system where she just sells the seasoning packets and you make it yourself. The problem, however, lies in what is in and on those seasoning packets. As you're seeing in the background, she's given a little tutorial on how to make this pink sauce, except this is not at all what the packet says to do. She says put in May sour cream, sweet chili sauce, all this stuff. And then if you go to the website, the instructions say one cup of milk, two cups Cool Whip, and one cup condensed milk. So that's that's a little bit different than what you're showing us here, Chef Pie. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, what's actually in this seasoning? So the very first ingredient is... A 
organic dried fried dragon fruit powder strawberry powder honey powder brown sugar vanilla powder salt spices and organic freeze dried red Is she even a fucking chef bro she making me scared, bruh. Dragon fruit powder, which means dragon fruit powder is the most common ingredient in this seasoning. And if you've ever had dragon fruit, you know that they don't really have that much of a taste. So if the biggest ingredient in your seasoning is a dried fruit powder that doesn't really have much of a taste, you've already got me kind of worried. This makes me think that this is nothing more than like glorified food coloring, right? But let's continue. We then have strawberry powder, honey powder, brown sugar, and vanilla powder. Keep in mind, this is shit she's advertising to eat with, like, chicken. This sounds like a cupcake recipe. It's not until we get to the last three ingredients that we start finding things you would normally find in a seasoning like this. So when those poor souls were saying this doesn't taste like anything we've ever had before, I think they might have actually been being honest. They probably bit into their food expecting, like, a ranch or an aioli type of taste, and then their taste buds get assaulted by what is basically toaster strudel frosting. It's such a strange combination of ingredients that I feel like I have to try it. So, if you want to see me put myself through what I'm assuming is going to be a torture-esque experience, go follow my Instagram, baby. I'm going to be chefing it up real soon. Well, guys, what do you think? Am I about to prove myself wrong? Is the pink sauce going to be the greatest thing that's ever- I'm not buying that shit. Anyway, bro, this is actually very disturbing to watch. Um, but yeah. Let me find that picture I was talking about earlier, though, with that lady, bro. Where the fuck is it at? Let me find that shit. It was like a lady opened a pink sauce and it was like an old ass box. Where the fuck is it? Alright, I'm gonna go to the other video I was reacting to earlier. Because I was watching this earlier, but it kept lagging. When basically, I Basically, in this video right here, this is what I was talking about, bro. When this, when one lady brought her pink sauce, she found some shit like this. What if you could do SEO smarter? And bro, fuck this ad and get into this, this the part so I can end my reaction. She found some shit like this in the package. So if y'all buy them pink sauce packages, be careful. You're going to end up like this lady, bro. Y'all see this? this? That sauce was literally rotting. Overall. You heard what he said? That's all I had to hear. Anyways, y'all go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all in the next reaction video, bro.